So here's what we're going to look at in this video. We're going to do some screen resolution changes um, or image resolution changes. Um, and we're going to look at selections and how to take this image and um, use some rulers and some guides and change the selections. First thing we're going to do is this image is way too large. So we got we, we got to make it a little bit smaller. So what we're going to do is go up to image, image size, and we can see, wow, man, that is really big. Uh, 72 resolution, we're going to change that. Uh, let's uncheck resample, change that to 300, and we're going to do OK. Now, let's go back into that for a second, uh, image size, and you say, oh, OK, wow, that really is big, 24 by 26. I just want to do like a 10 by, um, it's going to really be 10 by 9 in the end. Let's go ahead and do resample, and then do 10. And so we get 10 by 9, uh, almost 9 and a half. And then we're going to do OK. So it's going to take a little bit to change because it was a big image. We basically cut it down in um, a little bit more than half. So now what we're going to do is we want to take this in sections. We want to actually take little bars of this and be able to move them around. So in order to do that, we need to turn on a couple things. One thing is we are going to show grid, right? because that puts up this grid that's here. We also want to make sure we are on snap to grid because when we set our um, ruler guides, we want to make sure that they're snapping here. So that's all looking good. The next thing is I'm just going to move this. Uh, let's see, let's just get this out of the way. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to be able to. Yeah, we just I'm just going to move this here. We want to we're going to set some guides up at 1 2 3 4 all the way down um, this page. So, let's go ahead and we're going to set this up and you can see it links right up to 1. And in fact, I didn't need, even need to move that because you can see as I move this, it tells me where I am. Right? So 2 inches uh, 3 inches. We're going to move all the way down. There's 4 inches. Right, we're going to go all the way through this document. And the reason we're doing this and we're doing them as guides is so all of the um, lines that you're pulling are going to be the same. All the bars that you're going to be pulling are going to be the same. And we're going to go down, and there is it 9 inches. Now, what we want to do is we actually want to crop this down so it is 10 by 9 because this little part that's here, I, I, I don't want that. So looking at cropping is there's a couple things you can crop. Um, right now, we're just going to use the crop tool, this pers perspective crop, which we'll get into. Um, right now, we just want crop. And you can see there's those little guidelines that are here. And I'm just going to pull this up. Pull it up one more so it's cropped there. And then, so there's a couple things that are here as, as options. Um, you can delete the pixels as I do them, which I'm going to do. Or if you weren't sure about your crop, you could actually save those pixels um, so they're not actually going to be um, destroyed. There's other settings um, that are in here. If I would want to change the opacity of this so I want to see completely what it looks like, um, you can change that as well. So we are going ahead and just do crop, and that crops it down. Now, I'm going to get um, rid of the grid. So command um, quotation gets rid of the grid. Now I am going to leave these rulers up um, because I'm going to use them for what I'm going to do. So now going forward, what you're going to do, and it's just a little bit tedious, but um, we are going to do the first one. And you can see it locks right into that um, guide that's there. And we're going to use Command J, which is a shortcut for this layer, new, um, layer via copy. But that's a long way to go, so we're just going to use Command J to do it. So I go back to my original layer, and this is the process that you're going to use. Go back to the original layer, Command J. Go back to the original layer, Command J. Now, the shortcut. There's a shortcut to, to, um, to, to get you down, move through the layers, which is Option and the left bracket key, or right bracket key. And so we're down here. We're going to go Command J, Option left bracket key. I think the hardest part is remembering which layer I just pulled from, which I think was here. Command J, Option left bracket key. 
make a selection, Command J, Option left bracket key. Right, we're almost there. Don't worry, we're almost there. Um, Command J, Option left bracket key, and now we're down to the last one. Command J. So if you've done this correctly, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to hide um, your line. So if you go to um, Command colon or View show um, grid guides um, you know clear guides if I if I didn't want them All right so if you've done this correctly as I turn off this layer is that just the display issue oh, I wonder why that's must have not selected all the way. I, we won't worry about this for the video, but hopefully you get a little bit better of a selection than I did there. That's weird. Um, but what we're going to do, in fact, is we're now going to, um, what I want you to do, we're going to turn all these off, is we're going to move these around. So I'm going to turn the, my guides back on, and I'm going to move this bottom one to here, and you can see it locks right in. This one, let's bring this all the way up to the top. Just because it's bothering me, I'm going to transform that to the end. This one, we're going to move up here. This one, let's move down here. This one, let's move here. So you're just going to move these around. So just what you end up with is... Um, not the same. I'm just moving these because it annoys me. So what you do is you get something that looks like that. Now, let's, there's some interest to that. Um, let's take this one step further, and I'm going to turn this background layer back on. And now all I'm only going to do is go back through my layers and just move these around a little bit. And the reason I'm doing this is just to have, you know, it's it's a certain type of look it's called, you know, you can kind of make something look like it's glitching. You can make it look like, um, you know, the, the feed is kind of coming in in some weird way. So that's just the idea. It's just to take this off a little bit, show you selections, do something fun with this image. Move this one all the way over. And there you go. And that's using selections and rulers um, and some kind of interesting te techniques in order to get you there.